Good morning, Warriors. I'm Marcel. And I'm Harper. Today is Friday, September 29th, 2023. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you for tuning in. Let's get to the news. From September 15th to October 15th is National Hispanic Heritage Month. National Hispanic Heritage Month is annually celebrated to recognize the contributions and influence of Hispanic Americans to the history, culture, and achievements for the United States. Each day we will share an important figure within the community to you. Today we celebrate Pablo Picasso. Pablo Picasso was associated most of all of his all with pioneering Cubism. Alongside George George's Brack, he also invented collage and made major contributions to symbolism and surrealism. He saw himself above all as a painter, yet his sculpture was greatly influential and he also explored areas as diverse as printmaking and ceramics. And in honor of Hispanic Heritage Month, the Spanish, the Spanish department is teaching our viewers a new phrase each day. Hi, my name is Ashley. And I'm Andrea. We, we are, are from Latinos, Latinos in Action. Action. The phrase of the day is, ¿Qué estás haciendo? And in English it means, what are you doing? AP Spanish students are selling handmade bracelets for $7 from now until October 3rd in both lunches. We also have a limited number of hand-woven bags or bolistas for $15. All items come with a tag that is signed by the art artisan with a photo or information of where it was made. 100% of the proceeds are given back to the charity to di directly benefit those workers. Help us to support these workers in Guatemala and Nicaragua. Boys of Jupiter, my name is Felix, and I give you your bowling update. The Jupiter High School boys and girls see fun against Palm Beach Garden Skaters. Congrats to Nathan Keller for bowling a 200. There were many great bowlers Wednesday afternoon. However, two that stood out the most were Brianna Grzynski and Jake Mueller. What is your favorite part of being on bowling team? Well, I don't really have a favorite part. It's more of just the social energy and how much fun we have all the time. Um, it's just fun because you don't usually get to bowl with the team. So that and the fact that it's more practice is a lot of fun. These two certainly have talent to spare and have a fantastic week, Warriors. Congratulations to the boys and girls cross country teams. They had their last home meet with senior night Tuesday at Carlin. The boys took first with Cash Siliento leading the team, followed by teammates Connor Opton, Jaden Schuttler, Aiden Vargas, and Jacob Taylor, who all placed in the top 10. Jupiter girls also placed first. Kylie Godino led the girls, followed by Sadie Smith, Juliet Beltran, Tony, Con Tony Contento, and Jamie Dozer, who also placed in the top 10. JJ's boys soccer tryouts for JV and varsity for the 2023-2024 school year will begin on Monday, October 16th, and run through Friday, October 20th, through from 3 to 5 p.m. at the Jupiter Community Park. Players should plan to participate all five days for the tryouts. All athletic paperwork must be submitted via, via Activate and must be approved prior to participation. The portal for Activate is open and paperwork is being checked regularly. Please check on your status after submission. Green equals fully cleared, yellow equals pending, and red equals there is a problem with submission. Please note, if your paperwork is denied in any capacity, you will receive an email from the system outlining the issue. If you have more specific questions related to tryouts, please contact Head Coach Kevin Alibar via email. For questions about paperwork, please contact Athletic Director Scott Selvage. Want to learn to play chess? Already play chess? How about a game of checkers? Come check out the first chess club meeting after school Monday, October 2nd in room 6214. We will also have separate days during both lunches to play. For further information, see Mr. Blasky in room 6214. Check you later. Do you need more motivation to improve your physical fitness? If so, come join the Young Physical Health Activist Club. Here you will learn the importance of your own health and how to maintain it. Join the Google Classroom with the code JWRWNTY. The first meeting will be held in Portable 6, October 2nd before school. Attention Children's Hunger Fund Club members. There will be a meeting tomorrow during Lunch B, Tuesday, October 3rd, to discuss our HOCO Carnival booth. If you have a lunch, if you have a lunch, stop by room 6208 during lunch and let Ms. Hansen know that you are interested in helping and we will be in touch. 
Make sure to bring your form. Our permission form is posted, posted on our Google Classroom and our code is QWZHSN2. Attention best buddies, today after school they are going to be participating in a fun scavenger hunt. They will be meeting in the SGA courtyard behind room 4106. Remember, you must have your parental consent form signed and returned to Ms. Nunez prior to the event. Any students that do not have their forms turned in will not be permitted to participate in Best Buddies. Please plan to be picked up by 3.45 p.m. They can't wait to see you there. Drop off new and slightly used books to class of 2025. All books will be donated, donated to local schools around the Jupiter and Palm Beach area. Class of 2025 will be collecting donations from Tuesday, September 26th to Friday, October 13th. Community service hours will be given per time spent collecting donations. Books can be dropped off to Ms. Spencer's room, Portable 35, and must be placed in a bag labeled with your first and last name, student number, and the number of books you've donated, and your grade level. Don't miss out on a chance to get service hours while giving back to the community. The Horticulture Science Academy is hosting a plant sale on Saturday, September 30th from 8 a.m. to noon in the bus loop. Text JHS Plant to 81010 for updates. Don't miss it. Come to Culver's on October 3rd from 4 to 8 to support Drama Club. 20% of proceeds will go to Drama to help us fund competitions and productions. Come out and enjoy burgers and shakes while supporting school theater. Want to build up your college resume? Join the Computer Science Honor Society. The application process is on Google Classroom under new members. Applications are due today, September 29th. The classroom code is 53KYG3K. CSHS is open to freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors. You must have taken and passed one computer science class and have a GPA of 3.0 or better. Applications to join the National Technical Honor Society are due today, the 29th. The classroom code is C7VD2YH. In order to be eligible, eligible to join the National Technical Honor Society, you must be a junior or senior with a GPA of 3.0 or better. You must also be a member of one of the following ac academies. Medical, Engineering, Environmental, Criminal Justice, Culinary, Infotech, Horticulture, or the JROTC Academy. You are also eligible if you are in Marketing with DECA, a part of the Jupiter High School News Crew, or are in Journalism, or a part of the Yearbook stash, staff. Attention ACE students. If you're res registered for a fall ACE exam, please check your statement of ent entry closed closely. Exams will begin October 2nd and will take place in the Media Center unless otherwise indicated. Morning exams begin at 7.30, afternoon exams begin at 11.45. Students who test in the afternoon will go to lunch A. Please see Ms. Muncy with any questions. Listen up juniors and seniors. We will have many college visits set up to where you have the opportunity to get first-hand information from the college of your choice. If you are interested in any of the colleges slash universities below, please sign up for the visit in the guidance office. You will need a pass to attend the visit. If you need college application help from now through October 26th, stop by the guidance office during both lunches and don't forget to bring your Chromebook. Your guidance, co your guidance counselors can help. Want to see Belize? If you're interested in Mayan culture and ruins, sleeping and swimming in the rainforest, studying turtles and snorkeling Belize's pristine coral forests. Stop by room 3108. Dr. Thornton has info. There's only a few spots left. For today's pick of the day, we have Jupiter High's varsity cheerleaders. This photo was taken during the last home game against Suncoast. And now a word from our sponsor. Hey Warriors, we're back again with the Helping Hands Dress Boutique. As you know, homecoming is just three weeks away, Friday, October 13th. Do you feel like you're running out of time and money to find a dress? Prices for all sorts of things have just gone up and up and up. Have you looked for so long that all of the dresses just look the same? Well, you might want to consider a dress from the Helping Hands Dress Boutique right here on our campus. We have over 50 gently used, beautiful dresses of all sizes, and we would love for you to find one if you're still in need. So you can email your school counselor, let them know that you're in need of a dress. Your request will be confidential. Your dress might be right here. You just need to come find it. That's all for today. Have a fantastic day, Warriors.